if any industry is truly evolving, then the name of that industry is biotech and pharma. This is a trillion dollar industry growing leaps and bounds, but it's under constant flux, constant dynamism. It is changing over a period of time. And that means as a biotechnologist or a pharma guy or a chemistry guy, if you want to make a career in this industry, then you will have to take risk early. Now, you look at this, when you pass out from your college, you don't know where you will fit in, right? So when you don't know where you will fit in, then you must try 10 things so that you know which one will fit in, right? And probably you cannot choose which one suits you in a week or two or a month or two. You need to spend a few, uh, at least sizable amount of years there to understand whether you fit into that particular kind of a profession. By saying that, what I mean to say is, okay, there is sales and marketing in biotech, there is research, there is teaching, there is academia, there is PhD, whatnot, a lot of things. So you have to take risks in your career early and uh, do things in a better way. Now, let's take an example. So you are supposing you're 22 or 24 year old. If you try to start a biotech company, it will not be a big risk right now. But if you, once you have two kids, and a wife and a uh, you know aging father and a mother that time if you try to start a company it will be risk because you're supposed to you know uh, uh, support your family right so you need income so that point in time it will be tough so right now is the right time if you are planning to start a company right now is the right time to, if you're planning to make a career in research right now is the right time to jump and do your phd if you're planning to do your phd Right now is the right time to make your career in alternative biotech careers like science journalism or something. But right now is definitely the wrong time to sit and just do nothing. Okay. Ships are not built to stay in the harbor. They're supposed to go in the sea. You were ne never born to just stay at home and you know do nothing. You were born to take risk. And at whatever age you are today, you must take risk. You must go out and do things and explore what suits you. Okay. At this age, I'm ready to take the risk into anything. Any kind of experiment into, into my career, I'm ready. Because that will expose me to a newer version of me. Your life, your body, your mind is like an onion. If with every new layer, a new kind of lesson, new kind of wisdom will come. So the more you expose yourself to the diverse situations in this world, that's how you'll grow. That's how you will learn new things. So stop procrastinating. Stop saying that there is no scope. Stop saying that I will never grow in this field. Start saying that how can I grow this field? How can I grow myself in this field? Which kind of job will suit me? What kind of career risk I need to take? I'm not saying that you go and jump from the building. I'm all saying is go try it out. How do you know that sales and marketing will not suit you? How do you know that research will not suit you? How do you know that, you know, um, PhD will not suit you? How do you know that teaching will not suit you? Unless you have tried, you will not know. Comfortable jobs always gives you limited results. When you take risk, that's how you grow. Indra Nui became, became the CEO of Coca-Cola, PepsiCo. How? She took the risk early in her life. Everybody whether it was Abdul Kalam or uh, Homi Jahagir Bhava or anybody, if you see, they all took risk in their career early. If you are not doing that, then you are delaying your success. And by the time, say 10 years from now or 15 years from now, once you have two kids and a wife or two kids and a husband, and that time you are standing on the bus stop, you know, helping your kids get, get into the bus, that time you will be like, I should have followed Shekhar sir's advice. I should have taken that risk. You know, capitalist economy is brutal. And it's very important for you as a biotechnologist to know the financial dynamics of the future. The future is only for those who are prepared for it. No matter how much money you save today, it's going to lose its purchasing power in the future. When I came to Bangalore, milk one liter was 15 rupees. Today, it is 65 rupees in Bangalore, right? So if I had fixed 15 rupees for 10 years or 20 years, suppose, how much it would have become? It would have become 30 rupees, but the price of milk is 65, right? So I would still be 35 rupees less than the price of milk. That is what I'm saying. Don't try to save yourself, save your career, save in the, stay in the comfort zone. You have to hustle. You have to fight with the right kind of team members who will hustle harder with you 
so that you grow they grow that's a secret that's a mantra don't try to build a safe career try to build a successful career and success comes for the risk takers it's time to take the risk for your career it's time to probably start a company or do your phd whatever you are stopping yourself from doing do it but don't stop you're a soldier you're here to fight you're here to win all the best thank you